When we look at the oxidation numbers for something like Br2, we need to kind of think about what do oxidation numbers mean. So when we look at an oxidation number, it's really telling us where the electron is spending more time. It has to do with this difference in electronegativity. For Br2, there's no difference in electronegativity between Br and Br, they're the same. So when we have something like Br2 or H2 or O2 or S8, these are called free elements, their oxidation number is going to be zero. So the oxidation number on each one of these bromine atoms here, it's zero. Now if we had something like, for instance, let's say HBr, hydrobromic acid, in this case bromine would have an oxidation number that's non-zero. Hydrogen, when it's bonded to a non-metal, and bromine's a non-metal, plus one. Now these all need to add up to zero, so the bromine, that's going to be minus one, which is what we expect. It's in group 17, sometimes called 7a, and those are minus one. But when we just have Br2, the oxidation number for each bromine, that's going to be zero. This is Dr. B with the oxidation number for Br in Br2. Thanks for watching.